neoliberalism and neoconservatism were two sets of ideas that generally promoted economic liberalism and social conservatism in response to the crisis of the 1970s in the USA and UK. The combination was called the New Right, and it swept Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan to power in 1979 and 1981 respectively. To recap, the 1970s UK crisis was characterised by high inflation, socialist slash trade union militancy, high unemployment and supposed moral laxity due to more visible homosexuality and a skyrocketing divorce rate. One other thing to note was the moral panic caused by rebellious youth. The media published stories on subversive rock and roll and mods, not to mention skinheads, hippies, punks, all taking industrial amounts of drugs. Indeed, drug use only peaked in the 1990s. The USA was facing a similar crisis in that decade, but no party embodied conservatism there, but rather conservative Democrats and conservative Republicans. Conservatism had always emphasised individual liberty and social conservatism there much more. Increasingly, this view filtered across the Atlantic to UK conservatives. There, it slowly replaced the post-war consensus dogma that emphasised full employment and high state control of industry, exemplified by the National Economic Development Council that brought bosses, government and trade unions together. Thatcher would famously call her new right allies the Dries and the One Nationers the Wets. The policies, which many now think brought Britain from crisis to prosperity were a mixture. There were neoliberal ones, lower taxes, small government, individual freedom, laissez-faire economics, and neoconservative ones, an authoritative state, emphasis on family and community, and Judeo-Christian morality. sets of ideas complemented each other. For example, neoliberalism supported greater individual freedom, but this would lead to greater inequality as people's talent is unleashed. Now, in steps neoconservatism, which wants to better fund the police and army to have a strong state to ensure order. Where would this funding come from? From voluntary neoconservative communities caring for the people that used to be cared for by state welfare. And a cherished neoliberal aim of lowering taxation is justified socially as well as economically. Her government's policies, like reducing the top tax rate from 83% to 40%, and also selling council houses to their tenants, were thus rooted in both ideas. Finally, it's good to point out that small c conservatism is not radical. By definition, it wants measured, gradual change, which is why many thought the new right wasn't conservative at all. But what its supporters said was that one nationers hadn't be conservative enough in the 1940s, and all we were really doing was returning to the UK's great free market Judeo-Christian roots.